Hi, Oprah. This is Stacey Kimbrell, and my show is Got Toxic. And this show is about giving people hope that it's going to be so easy to be able to change their lifestyle, changing their diet, learning how to read their labels, learning how to prepare their foods, uh, learning how to clean their house toxic free, learning how to get organized so that they can do these things in a timelier, less stressed fashion. Okay, I'm not going to take you this far back, but surely if people back in the day could cook like this, then I know we can do it without modern ovens and still do it in a healthy way. I want to take the studio audience and I want to take you, America, out on these field trips so we all can learn together. Okay, let's go do it. Come on. Today we're going to learn how to make mock salmon. And Ruth is here to teach us how to do that today. And Ruth, what is mock salmon? Stacy, mock salmon starts out with carrots, onion, celery, green pepper, lemon, Celtic salt, dill, and veginase. Right, I can't wait to try it. I'm so excited to be here today in Grand Blanc, Michigan at a local farm. It, it's amazing what you can get locally, uh, paying uh, less than what you may be able to pay at a supermarket, getting a better quality product without pesticides, herbicides, fungicides, no wax on the fruit and the vegetables. Whenever you go and they're a little sticky, that's a wax they put on there that we don't need. So it's amazing. What does organic mean in a nutshell? In a nutshell, the easy way to explain organic is we don't use any chemical, herbicides, pesticides, fungicides on our crops, and our animals are not given any antibiotics or hormones. Uh, one thing I love about uh, the goats is, especially if someone's, you know, lactose intolerant. Goat milk is the best thing. Um, it's the closest thing to breast milk. So if someone else is not able to breastfeed, we can use goat's milk. It's very good. But we get our goat soap. Organic goat soap, and yogurt, and cheese, and milk, of course. So it's amazing what we can get out of here and not have any chemicals added. Here you guys go. Hi, today we're in Victoria's kitchen, and she's going to teach us about a salad that she likes to make, and we're going to add a little twist to it as well. We're going to be making an Italian-style salad where we don't use lettuce. Oh. Okay, so put some lemon juice on there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. Sometimes if you try and you think you need a little bit more, we just can always do a little bit of lemon on the top. And then this is a new uh, spice that I just got from Italy. It's delicious. And we're just gonna sprinkle a little of this on here for people who like it a little bit more spicy. All right. Mmm. That's a good bite. Mm-hmm. Okay, really